everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, if you're new here, hi, my name is Dominique, I'm 24 years old. I live on my own, I'm engaged, so I'll be getting married relatively soon. And I pretty much just make videos recording my personal finances, my journey to debt freedom, all that good stuff. So if you like those kind of videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. So today I'm going to just be going over, um, not really going over, but planning out my June budget um, in my happy planner notebook. I have the um, encourager happy planner notebook so it says empowered woman empower woman i thought it was pretty cool so that is why i got it but anyway so we're just gonna flip over to the month of june and if you saw my last plan with me budget plan with me i guess you could say um for the month of may you saw well i can just flip to it really quickly so it's doing a no spend challenge um today's the 26th so i have not fully completed everything for the month of may but um this is what it looked like for may and i'm pretty much going to be doing the same thing only i'm going to decorate a little bit more because why not i have two like containers full of washi tape i have not touched my washi tape in forever so i'm going to try and implement that a little bit more so i have these two here this one I don't know if it's gonna focus, but it has like a lot of birds and flowers. It, um, it was part of like a uh, Cinco de Mayo pack that I got a little while ago. So it, it came with like a lot of like festive stuff like that. And then I just have this kind of like wavy orange burgundy yellow kind of thing here. So I'm gonna decorate a little bit really quickly. Um, before I get into filling out everything here. So that's all I'm going to do for right now. It didn't all lay out perfectly and kind of ripped a little bit, but you know what? That's whatever. I was just doing it for the fun of it. Um, and I have these stickers that came with, I think they came with the like budget expansion pack for the Happy Planner. I don't really use that pack, but I am going to use these little asterisks and put them over the numbers here to try and just like cover them up. I didn't realize that they were clear or else I might have like covered up the actual numbers first and then put these on, but that's okay. Oop. I'm not one of those planners that have like all the really cool little gadgets that help you put stickers down perfectly like the tweezers and stuff like that. I really don't care if things are straight or not. Okay, so you can probably, I don't know if you can really see, but on the side here I have FT, which means that I'm working full time that week. And um, I know I've said in a couple other videos that I, my job is probably going to keep me in part-time, even though I'm supposed to be in full-time as of right now. Um, and turns out that they are able to bring me back into full-time right now, so I am technically working full-time. 
so that's great because I was really worried about that. Okay, so for the month of June, I have like my regular expenses due, but I also have a couple of things by our due that, um, one, I did not budget for, even though I knew they were coming, um, and two, they shouldn't be happening technically, but because of all like the virus um, and everything being closed and including like government buildings, um, they like, they shouldn't be happening, but they are because I couldn't take care of these things. And that would be um, here, you can see I wrote down property tax due. So my, the only property I pay taxes for, it would be my car. Um, and this property tax is for my old state because my car was registered there. Um, when I moved, I started the process to have it registered in my new state, but then everything closed and they weren't doing any of that kind of stuff online. You can only renew it online, but like I can't renew something that I don't have. So yeah, I'm still like, it's still registered for my old state, which is unfortunate because that just like really like messes things up for me, especially like financially, because now I'm gonna have to switch things around and it's gonna cost more. But anyway, so my property taxes is due, but not only that, um, my license plates are going to expire this month, so I have to renew that as well. So, um, which again, if I was able to switch it all over to my new state, I would have already had that all taken care of um so but it's whatever i mean it's not like the worst thing in the world that could be happening right now obviously um so yeah those are the two things um you i'm gonna say it in my paycheck budget video but those things will be categorized as unbudgeted just because like i did not save up for that that's not something that i I knew it was coming, but back then I didn't know to save up for it, if that made sense. So that's it. I'm going to be using the Happy Planner budget sticker book today because I still cannot find my plain stickers. I had, maybe I can show you an, an old, yeah. So I had these like plain stickers that were really convenient. I have no clue where they went, but these work just as well. So the property taxes due on the 5th. So I will be using this little car here. And um, the plates like don't really have a specific date. They just have to be renewed before the end of the month so i'm just gonna put it on the first i'll probably actually pay it before the end of may um just so that i can have them mailed to me by the end of june um but yeah so those are those two and i don't know off the top of my head what the price is for either of them i know i wrote it down somewhere let me see if i can find it i'll be right back my property tax is one seventeen seventy four, and I'm pretty sure the plates are in the hundreds also. I've never actually had to pay for my plate renewal um, because like before they, my car was on like my parents' name, but now it's on my name. So this is my first time actually having to do that, which is fun, adult things, yay. So those are the two things that I wanted to get out of the way that are not like my typical, not my typical expenses. On the first of the month, I have my rent due. My rent is 809 a month, $809, but there's a $1 convenience fee. So just gonna say 810. My electric bill is due on the 5th, which is um, really interesting to me considering that last month it was, well, it was on the 7th, 
but they never have it like on the same day it always changes and it's not like it's always like the first friday or anything like that like it's always i guess it's technically the first weekend but i've never had anything that's just not always the same day anyway that's gonna be 39 12 and that's my electricity used in the month of april i believe and then at the end of June, I'll get my bill for what was the month of May. Um, and in April, I didn't have my air conditioning on like at all. So I did cut it down. I did forget at, um, the second of the month, I always have my um, workout program charge and that is nine dollars and then i have on the ninth i'm charged for my spotify premium which is a flat out 9.99 on the 12th i have my internet due that is $55. I think they actually charged me $54.99, but I'm just going to put $55 for that. And on the 13th, I have my water and sewer bill. That's going to be $13.78. They do add a $4 service fee, um, which I meant to add into that, but I already wrote it, so it's okay. Towards the end of the month on the 23rd, I have um, another charge for my workout program that is $3. It's kind of just like a little add-on thing that I have with it, so I get charged twice um, a month. but it's like a really small fee so these are pretty much all the bills that i pay during the month um i do have pretty much all of them on automatic payments um everything but i think the water it didn't have that option but everything else should be automatic payment i guess i should include my paydays as well I'm going to put um, stickers down for my payday as well. So these are from Scribble Prints Co. Um, they're from like a mistake pile. So you can get like a ton of stickers for pretty cheap, but they all have some kind of like issue with them. These, I don't see any issue. Maybe like the colors were off or something, but yeah, so I have these and June is actually a great month because I get paid three times this month on the 2nd, the, the 16th, and the 30th. I think they're called like a golden month. January was also a three um, paycheck month. But I think there's only like two of them in a year, so this is the last one, unfortunately. But that's okay. So I have three paydays here. I'm going to find a little piggy bank sticker. If I can. Yeah. I'm gonna use a little piggy bank sticker in the top corner here so that at the end of the month I can write in my savings if I have any. And then over in this corner, I'm going to pretty much put my starting balances and ending balances. I did the same thing in May where I put like my debt balances and then my um, bank account balances so that I can like compare them from the beginning of the month to the end of the month. Um, I don't have a sticker to go over here. So maybe 
None of these really fit. Maybe there's a little sticker in here that I can use. I like this one. It says Outlook. I'm going to use that over here. Because it kind of gives me like an outlook of what I'm looking at. So credit card. How did I do it last month? Okay, credit card. June 1st. And I'll write the amount there, and then June 30th, right? There's 30 days. Yeah, 30 days. I can never remember. The end balance. Um, then for the second one, my student loans. June 1st to June 30th. And then I will put my checking account. And my savings account. Okay, so I also like to put um, stickers down planning out what videos I'm going to put out, but I'm going to do that later because I haven't completely figured that schedule out yet, but I am going to put a sticker down for my budget review at the end of the month because I mean, I'm going to make a video on it, but even if I wasn't going to make a video, I would still want to have that sticker down. We'll use blue here. And we do that at on the last day of the month. Budget review there. That's pretty much it for what I put in my monthly spread for my budget. I do have um, my mom's birthday this month on the 5th, and the first day of summer is in June also, so I'm probably going to put some stickers down for that. And it's just kind of like bare looking, and I'm feeling kind of creative today, so I will put more things down here. Um, I'm just not going to show it. I'll show you the final product, but I'm not going to record all of that because it would take way too long even if I sped it up so I will do that later but for right now usually um in my past monthly budget setup videos I show you me setting up my um my spread in my bullet journal also but I'm not going to do that today because I haven't figured out which page that goes on yet um because I don't want to cut the month of May too short or make it like too long and have wasted pages. So I'll show you all that in my first paycheck video, which would be on coming out the week of the second, probably on Monday. Because um, I know like what I'm being paid before I actually get paid. So I'll you'll see that on Monday, June 1st. But yeah, so I'm going to just finish decorating for now, and then I will show you the end product in just a little bit. Alright, so I finished decorating. Um, I just added some stickers for like Father's Day, the 4th of July, um, a sticker for the first day of summer. Um, all the stickers I used were from the Happy Planner these labels here are just for me to put in what videos I'm scheduling for that week. Um, yeah, I have a little sticky note here from the Happy Planner to like, it says remember, and then I put savings goals so that like, if I want to spend money, just think like, does this really help with my savings goals? And then on this day, I put this like square box sticker that has a cutout for the date. 
because that's like my fiance's and I um month anniversary. We we don't really like do anything for month anniversaries, but we acknowledge them. And this is our last one before our anniversary in July. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm sorry I'm not able to fill out my bullet journal today, but it wasn't really going to work out with the the planning of the layout, but you'll see it in my um in my first paycheck video of June. That's all that I have for you all today. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button. Also, if you like fun festive layouts I guess um, and also leave a comment down below telling me what you are most looking forward to in the month of June. I know a lot of things are opening back up but I don't know if you personally will be um, taking part in maybe like more everyday activities that we are all used to back before all the lockdowns happened everything like that. So what are you looking forward to? Is it cookouts for like the 4th of July? Are you happy that it's almost officially summertime? Or do you have really cool budget goals that you're hoping to accomplish in the month of June? Tell me down below. Thank you all for watching my video today and I will see you all next time. Bye.